Hey, thanks for being here. So this is going to be a tapping audio for being frustrated with technology. Um, I've just spent mm, probably two, three hours trying to sort out some technology and I'm feeling pretty frustrated. So um, I hope you get as much benefit out of this tapping audio as I do because my nervous system, <clears throat> excuse me, really needs to be soothed right now. So how tapping works uh, is I'll say a statement and, and then you repeat after me. If there's anything that doesn't resonate with you, you can just chop it out or change it. Always taking full responsibility for your mental, physical and spiritual well-being. Taking a really nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth and starting on the side of the hand. Either hand works. Even though I am so frustrated with technology, I'm acknowledging it now. Even though I am so friggin' frustrated with technology, and I can feel all this frustration in my body, I'm safe right now. Even though all of this frustration does not feel safe to me. And my subconscious might perceive it as a threat. I'm letting it know these emotions are not a threat to me. Top of the head. So freaking frustrated. Eyebrow. I've been fighting with technology for so long. Eyebrow. And I still didn't get it figured out under the eye. Technology is absolutely amazing when it works. Under the nose. And I love it when it works. On the chin. And when it doesn't, collarbone, I want to throw it through the window. Under the arm. Because it's so frustrating. Under the ribs. I want to fully acknowledge onto the wrist, just exactly how frustrated I am. Top of the head. And allow this frustration as much as I can. Eyebrow. So that I can get the information from it, side of the eye, and then be able to release some of it. Under the eye. Frustration and anger under the nose, are asking me to set a boundary under the chin. That boundary might be with myself, collarbone, might be with someone else under the arm, or with something else under the ribs. Or maybe it's with all three under the wrist. Whatever boundary I'm needing to set, top of the head, I'm open to knowing it now. Eyebrow. Because I don't want to feel this frustration anymore. Side of the eye. I don't want to feel angry anymore. Under the eye. So I'm open to all the information. Under the nose. Maybe I could be really self-compassionate right now on the chin and understanding collarbone because there is so much to know collarbone and we're often expected to know all of it under the ribs and I know technology is not really my thing on the wrist. I do appreciate it. Top of the head. But I'm so much better at other things. Eyebrow. So I'm acknowledging that. Side of the eye. That it's okay to not be amazing at everything. Under the eye. To be more patient with myself. Under the nose because beating myself up just doesn't work under the chin. 
It only makes me feel worse. Collarbone. And puts me even more into stress response. Under the arm. So I wonder if I could be open and willing. Under the ribs. To accessing some solutions. Under the wrist. That I maybe hadn't thought of. Top of the head. Maybe I could get some support. Eyebrow. Not exactly sure where to find it. Side of the eye. But I'm open to that information coming to me. Under the eye. I'm also realizing. Under the nose. That I need to set a boundary with myself. Under the chin. A boundary about the expectations that I have of myself. Collarbone. A boundary about being mean to myself. Under the arm. A boundary about what's worth getting really angry about. On the ribs. Because part of me knows the cost it takes on my body. Under the wrist or the cost my body has to pay. Top of the head. It doesn't need that extra stress. Eyebrow. So I'm ready to release as much as I can. Side of the eye. Remembering to be self-compassionate. Under the eye. Patient. Under the nose. Remembering all the things I am really good at on the chin, and open and willing to getting some support, collarbone. And when I get this stress response off, under the arm, maybe some solutions will even come to me, on the ribs. But no matter what, under the wrist, everything's going to be okay. And taking a really nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And hopefully you are able to breathe a little easier. I know I am now. And if it's if you're still feeling really frustrated and upset, I really encourage you to continue tapping. Do the audio again. There's also other tapping audios on my on this YouTube channel that you can check out that might be supportive of you. Remember that when you spend more time in relaxation than you do in stress response, almost anything is possible. I'm Sherry Lukey, and thank you for taking the time to be here.